this presentation, we are going to cover the basics of applying to community college and technical college. If you have any questions after this presentation, please contact the Future Center for help. In this presentation, we are going to cover how do you pick a college, how do you apply to college, how do you pay for college, and where can you get help? This presentation is about the process of applying. You will find this presentation as well as a variety of handouts and information that goes into much more detail in the Life After High School playlist in the AE Spring playlist in Empower. Before we get started, we should cover the advantages of attending community college. Community colleges serve two groups of students. The first group of students who attend community colleges are those who want to earn a certificate or two-year degree. Community colleges have a lot of options for students who need quick training before they go to work. The second group of students are those who need to ultimately earn a four-year college degree, but they want to complete the first one to two years at a community college. Because community colleges are often closer to home, have smaller classes, and have lower costs, this can be a smart choice. Technical colleges focus only on certificate programs and their emphasis is purely to provide specific training. These programs are usually completed in a very short amount of time, usually between six to 12 months. Our closest community and technical colleges are Emily Griffith Technical College, Front Range Community College, Community College of Denver, and Red Rocks Community College. So how do you pick a college? When looking at different schools, it's important to think about yourself and what would be a good fit for you. These are some considerations for students when picking a school. The most important item on the list is degree or program. Any school you are considering must have the program or programs that interest you. How do you apply to community college or technical college? You apply to college during the fall of your senior year by going to the school's website. There is usually a button on their main page that says apply. You can also go to their page for the Office of Admissions. Even though community college and technical colleges don't have deadlines for general admission, we highly recommend that students complete applications by winter break. There are some programs that are very popular and might have special applications or deadlines. If your program does require extra steps, you want to apply to the main school first and then check to see the prerequisites for the program, which might include specific college classes, job shadowing, or work experience. Make sure you meet with an advisor to pick the right classes to meet these requirements. What can you expect to answer on an application? You will need to provide your personal information like name, address, and birth date. You will answer questions about the program you plan to study. You will also need to provide contact information for your high school, which can be found on the Westminster High School website. If your program is competitive, you might also be asked to provide a personal statement please make sure you write the statement in a separate file and then cut and paste the final version into your application. Please also make sure that you have a couple of people proofread your statement before you send it. Sometimes you are required to provide letters of recommendation. If you do have letters to submit, please bring them to the counseling office to be mailed on your behalf. A few programs will need a copy of your official transcript with your test scores. You can request this from the WHS Counseling Office webpage. There is a link under Senior Information for transcript requests. Music 
Applications for community and technical colleges are free. And everyone is accepted. Community and technical colleges have open admissions, which means that you are automatically accepted regardless of grades or test scores. However, remember that some programs are competitive and may be hard to get into right away if your grades and test scores are low. When you take the SAT, if you feel that your score is not as high as you want it to be, you can retake it in the fall of your senior year. You would want to make sure you are preparing by using Khan Academy Test Prep. To register, you would sign up through your College Board account. If you qualify for free reduced lunch, you can receive a fee waiver from the Future Center. How do you pay for college? Paying for college is a concern for many students. First of all, students should consider applying for financial aid through the government. Students complete an application called the FAFSA, which asks a lot of questions about the student and family's financial situation. Students may qualify for grants, which is free money that doesn't need to be repaid, loans, which is money that does need to be repaid, and work study, which gives students extra opportunities to get work when they are in college. The FAFSA is available to complete starting October 1st of your senior year, and we recommend that you submit the FAFSA by winter break. Every fall, the Future Center holds FAFSA and financial aid workshops where we help you complete the FAFSA with your family. We encourage you to attend. Undocumented students can complete the FAFSA, but because they are not eligible to receive aid from the government, we don't recommend that they do. There are state, financial aid, and scholarship opportunities for undocumented students, and the Future Center is very happy to help students find and apply for these. A lot of students are interested in applying for scholarships because these are opportunities to earn free money that you don't need to pay back. The Future Center has a webpage that just lists scholarships and is a great place for you to start. On the Future Center website, we list the big areas where you would need to look for scholarships. First, every college has their own scholarships and often there is a separate application you, you need to complete. Second, there are local scholarships that have a smaller pool of competition and therefore better chances for you to get one. Examples of local scholarships include the Westminster Public Schools Foundation and the Westminster Rotary Clubs. Third, as the Future Center hears about scholarships, we add it to our list. We encourage seniors to check this list at least once a week because we are updating it regularly. Other resources include the Raise.me website, where you might qualify for guaranteed scholarships based on things you're already doing in high school. You can create an account right now. Finally, you can conduct a national scholarship search on a website like fastweb.com. All of these resources are located on the Future Center website. So if you get stuck, where can you get help? The Future Center is a resource for all WPS students and our job is to help you with identifying and planning for your future steps after high school. You can find us in the Westminster High School Library and we have counselors available at both Westminster High School and Hidden Lake High School. Students and parents can call and email us with questions they have. So what are your next steps? Make sure you are thinking about your future career interests and start researching colleges. If possible, you should try to visit at least one college campus this summer or fall. You should get or stay involved in extracurriculars. If you haven't already, consider signing up for a challenging course load next year and make sure you continue to get good grades. Every fall, the Future Center hosts a college fair where you can meet with representatives from different schools. And finally, in the fall of your senior year, plan to apply to college and complete your FAFSA no later than winter break.
In order to help you with these steps, Future Center staff will be visiting your senior AE classrooms this fall to complete applications, resumes, and much more. We hope this presentation gave you useful information on the application process for community college and technical college. If you have questions, please contact us. Don't forget that this presentation, as well as handouts and other activities, can be found in Empower in your spring AE playlist.